what's weird to me is y'all go by kilometers an hour. Yeah. And like, I look so you're going real fast. Real fast. Yeah. So so my tour manager, like we landed, we got a rental car, got like this Yukon or whatever. And I look over and it said like 129 or something. I was like, <laughs> this guy dude, slow down. down. <laughs> what are you doing? You're, you're not gonna kill us. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. And then I, he was like, dude, it's kilometers an hour. Chill out. So <laughs> I thought you were going, yeah. What, I hey, thought we were like, nah, what's one? Hour. What's 120 miles per hour? Because 60 miles per hour is 100, 100 kilometers an yeah. hour. So that's double. That's 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, like I don't. I think the governor down. of the Yukon's. Yeah. Oh, 180. Wow, wow, wow. 180. Usually those things. That's all. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then so that and then uh, poutine. Yeah. Poutine. Saying that right? You yeah. Some? yeah, you got it. Hell yeah. It's great. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Well, so I got it at McDonald's the first time. That's a good poutine. It's not awful. McDonald's no. fries are legit. Yeah. And then good. and then we went to a little uh, bar last night. Okay. And I got it there, and it was not as good as. Yeah, no, Don's is always good, man. But, I mean, like, you can tell I've had my first Sherman Don's, but, you know, it's like... Well, and also, on the menu last night, I saw beer with, like, $12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like... Pint? Probably a scooter? Well, Canadian dollars. Oh, yeah. It's not... It's yeah. different than U.S. Yeah. So I was like, man, why is everything so high here? Yeah. But it's because it's not... Well, speaking of beer... Well, we, we have regular... We, we got you one. The yeah. Vassal's out there, man. Yeah. Shane, it's a pleasure to have you here, man. Hey, thank, thank you so you, much. Man. Here, so this is a Molson Canadian. You had like a true Canadian beer? Yeah. Um, uh, no. This is it right here, Molson yeah. Canadian. It doesn't get more more Canadian than Molson. We sometimes put syrup in it Are to you sweeten serious? it up. No, nah, it's just a rumor, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But we do like our syrup. Here's it's the, gonna hear me. Hey, dude, cheers. You thank you, guys. So, 30th anniversary, BBJ. You just come off the stage, and uh, I, I know you've told this story. Oh, yeah, that's good. Out of ten, pretty decent. Well. So there's a guy in the states. He does pizza reviews. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, Dave, yeah. Uh, from Illinois, from Barstool. Yeah, Barstool. One sip, yeah. everybody knows the rules. That's right. One sip, everybody knows the rules. Okay. Um, we don't give whole numbers because uh, that's for rookies. Okay. I would give this a solid eight nine. Eight nine. Uh, it's a tasty beer for the very first beer, time. Yeah. For the thousandth time, Matt, what do you give it? Well, this is probably the. 10 million Canadian iPad, yeah. and it's still an 8 to 9. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's good, man. It's good. I can, you told this unbelievable story up on the stage, just you and a guitar. It's the best way to see somebody perform. Uh, do you mind just kind of breaking that story down for our Kiss and Country listeners, yeah, just to kind of get a little bit more perspective of who you are? So, literally 15 months ago, I was working for the city of Columbia in Tennessee, uh, back home in the States. On top of working for the city 15 months ago, I would play as many gigs as I could. And nowhere, I grew up in a little bitty town. Nowhere in my hometown sells guitar strings. So anytime I need anything to do with music, I have to drive 45 minutes north towards Nashville. Don't break any guitar strings. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't play so, so hard. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I go like once a month and I'll just get like 10 packs. Yeah. So anyways, I was trying to be slick and kill two birds with one stone and make a date out of going to get guitar strings. As one does. Yeah. Exactly. You flex on a girl like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. strings for my yeah. guitar. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. I want right. to feel the calluses on my face. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pocket full of picks. Yeah. 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 Here's a pig. You know? <laughs> uh, no, but so anyways, I called this girl up, asked her if she wanted to ride with me to Guitar Center. She agreed to it. I get my guitar strings. I come back out, hop in the truck, and I ask her what she wanted to eat. She said that she wanted sushi. Now, look. How's Tennessee sushi? Hot. <laughs> look, here's the deal, though. So I'm a huge fisherman. Okay. So whenever I think of fish, it's battered and fried on both sides. Exactly. It's not raw. Right. The thought of that turns my stomach. Really? Okay? As you can tell, I love eating. She must have been a good-looking girl. She was a really good girl. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I punched in sushi near me on my iPhone. <laughs> I'd never tried it before in my life. Never tried sushi. You and can't hate it if she likes it. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And I wasn't going to be like, hell, let's just go to McDonald's instead, you know? So <laughs> I punch in sushi near me. We get there. We go to walk in. Chris Jansen holds the door for me. We want to walk in. Do you know, like, does he know who you are? No. Oh, hell no. He had no idea who I was. But I was writing songs, you know, on top of working for the city and playing all these little bar gigs. And I went up to him, introduced myself, told him what a fan I was, and then I wrote songs. And that it would mean the world to me if he would listen to some of them. 
And I'd been to seven concerts my whole life, and to see Chris Jansen was five of those seven. That's how you So I, I was nervous. I was about as nervous as a long-tailed cat in full of rocking chairs. First off, you're eating sushi. Second off, there's Chris Jansen. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. no, no. Yeah. So. I took one bite of the sushi and I spit it out my napkin. It was so, <laughs> so I knew I was going to have to stop at KFC on the way home, like, you know, get some chicken or something. Bucket, yeah. yeah, but anyway, so I went up to him and introduced myself, told him what a fan I was. And uh, anyways, his wife was sitting up beside him and spoke up and said, hey, I'm Kelly, I'm Chris's wife, I'm also his manager, and I'm also a music publisher. Is that a receipt you're holding in your hand? I'll write my email down on it and you can send us some songs. You can have our work to listen to it. And I was like, yes, ma'am, that'd be great. Thank you. Back home, it's like a southern thing. Say yes, ma'am, yes, sir. So I was like, yes, ma'am, thank you. Well, Chris spoke up. He said, did you just say yes, ma'am? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, I like that a lot. Pull up a chair and talk to me. So I did. And we talked for over an hour. Well, as soon as I got up, I sent some songs I'd written to that email. And at the bottom, I said, and if y'all ever need anything, just give me a call. I included my phone number on it. Fast forward two weeks later, I was at work. It was a Tuesday morning. I was sitting there weedy. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Whippersnipper in Kansas City, right? Yeah. Like what? Whippersnipper. Whippersnipping. Is that what y'all call it? That's what we call it. Yeah. Oh. Weed eating. Whippersnipping. Yeah. Whippersnipping. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds cooler when you say it. it does. <laughs> Whippersnipping. Let me whippersnipping that. You know? I was at work. I felt my phone ringing in my pocket. I pulled it up, looked at the caller ID, and it said Chris Chance. I answered it. I said, hello. He said, hey, what are you doing? I said, well, it's a Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock. Like most people, I'm at work. What are you doing, you know? Yeah. He goes, well, he said, I want you to I want you to go put your two-week notice in and come out on tour with me. <laughs> so I did. I would have got rid of that whipper snipper in an inch. Would have broken it I over my it on the ground. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. So I walked in my boss's office, and I told him exactly what had happened. Exactly exactly what I just told y'all. And he thought I was lying. Yeah, understandably. Yeah, yeah understandably. Oh, you so, didn't know you played music, or did he know that? No, he, he knew, he knew I did. But, uh, so, as a thank you, when I was out on that tour, I uh, I got him and his wife a couple of Ryman Auditorium tickets. That's cool. It was sold out. <laughs> and I, I put it in his mailbox and, and gave it to him. Just the ultimate big dog move, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. I, and also, so the girl that I was on the date with, yeah. uh, I had already used up on my comp tickets. So I had to pay like quadruple the price for these tickets <laughs> from a scalper, yeah. right? Yeah. So I paid like an outrageous amount for my own show tickets. And I put them in the girl's mailbox. Then I just wrote thank you and then signed my name Damn. and put them in the girl's mailbox. What an absolute flex. So get this. You're married now. A couple of weeks later, whenever the show came around, I was scrolling through Instagram the day after the show. She had the audacity to bring her new boyfriend oh. to the show. That was her plus one. Whoops. She won the battle, but I won the boy. Yeah, so. like, wow. Well, that's a hell of a story. Yeah. 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 Redneck or hillbilly, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Matt, what's an Albertan redneck? Alberta redneck, mind? same as Tennessee redneck, jacked up truck? Absolutely. Good. But actually, let me correct that. So for some reason now, these people back home feel like it's cool to only jack up the front end. Okay. So their truck sits like that. I haven't seen that. That's, That's not, new. That hasn't made it That's, up to Canada. Canada yet. Better hope it doesn't, because it looks <laughs> dumb. I'm all like, okay, Alberta Rednecks are going to throw on a fat limper. Same thing? No, always got choppers in. I got it in my back pocket. Right, yeah. so what, uh, what about a mullet, right? We got a lot of mullet wearing fellas. There's plenty of mullets out in that crowd. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw some mullets. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Uh, what else do we have there? Pit Vipers? The Pit Viper sunglasses yes. that come down? Yes. Those are, that's a big They're part of it. They're getting big. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I think we're we're pretty neck and neck. Dude, in it's like that Bradley Gilbert song, Country Must Be Countrywide. Oh, I true. mean, like, dude. I'm, I might be in another country, but these are my kind of people out here. Hell yeah, man. So, That's and I, cool. I'm, I love them. Hey, buddy, Walla, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's man. an absolute pleasure Thanks for the to meet beer, you. Man. Absolutely. Nice to we can't wait you. to see what you're doing next, man, and get you back up here. Thank you all. Awesome. Thank you. Slip some tickets in my mail. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will bring. I will <laughs> bring my new boyfriend along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>